Okay, Kaya and I first got to know each other when she was in my first grade class, and then I chose her as my Connect student. And how did we, how did we first connect, Kaya? Uh, we went to the library and saw Ariel. So Kaya and I made a few trips to the library together, and then since then I found out that Kaya really likes to eat. <laughs> so we have spent a lot of time at McDonald's and Dairy D, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For a little thing, she can eat a double cheeseburger in no time. The first time we connected was October 31st, <laughs> 1985. I wasn't born then. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first time that we connected was at church on a Sunday when Lance came up to me. He said, hey, Logan, how you doing? I grabbed your card and I don't really know how to connect with you. And then from then on, we've been best friends. Um. How has connecting affected your life? Um, fun. It's fun? Yeah, we have a lot of fun together. I think Kai and I both like to talk quite a bit, don't we? Yeah. So a lot of times when we get together, we just sit and talk. Ever since we started connecting, some mornings I'll wake up and I'll have a Snapchat from Lance or something. So I'll open it. And usually it's like a picture of whatever he's ate or something random. But just those little moments whenever he like talks to me or sends me a Snapchat, it just like makes me feel like someone's thinking about me. So, I mean, basically he's right. I mean, it is kind of odd to say, I mean, I'm 33, he's younger than me. Um, and to say like, I do as a, you know, as a person of Christ, you know, thinking of this young guy, you know, trying to figure out how to connect with him, things that he enjoys. Um, and just trying to find those ways. The whole Snapchat thing's pretty funny. Uh, he snaps back these really weird, like, random pictures. And I asked him one day, I was like, why do you do that? He goes, it's just the way I do it. I've tried it, I can't get it down. Uh, I'll send, like, pictures of my shoes or walls or whatever, but he's like these weird, fast selfies that are out of focus, and he's like, that's just what he does, so. Um, why should people connect with students? Uh, to learn more. To learn, I've learned a lot about Kaya. And um, one thing I found nice about connecting with Kaya, not only have I got to know Kaya better, but since I go to her house and pick her up, I've got to know her mom and dad a lot better. And her little sister even went with us on one of our little excursions, didn't she? Yeah. So it's been nice to get to meet other people, know them better through connecting with Kaya. Yeah. So. Uh, for me, a reason to connect with the students is just to let them know that there's somebody there for them, somebody outside of the circle, you know, their friends, their family, that kind of stuff. Some of that, if they have a problem that they can come to, you know. With Logan, I wanna make sure like I'm approachable. I don't wanna, you know, be distant from him, but I want him to know like, hey, if he's having a struggle, he's not confident, you know, talking with a, a close friend or a coworker or something, that he can come to me at any time, you know. And I know that, you know, God's gonna lay that moment, like that opportunity's gonna come at some point in time. I just wanna make sure I'm there for it. Uh, so that's why it's important for me to connect with, with students because even as an adult, you know, you have those certain friends or people that you go to that you can talk to with that are outside the circle that aren't going to, you know, judge you in any kind of way. They're not going to talk down to you, but they're going to be there just to kind of kind of listen. What has been the fun part about connecting? For me, the fun part about connecting has been just getting to know Kaya better and having lots of fun together and laughing a lot together. Yep. So what's been fun about connecting for you? Um, food. Food, um, yes. Um, talking. Talking. Definitely your Snapchats. I was, I'm gonna say ditto to that. They're, uh, they're interesting. Especially whenever you were in a Canada or wherever you were at and every meal you ate was big. <laughs> were you afraid of connecting, Kaya? Nope, because I know we at church. When I asked Kaya this, she thought it was a silly question because she said she knows everybody at church. Why would she be afraid of connecting? Which I thought was a good thing because that lets me know that she feels loved by her church family and feels very comfortable with them. And I think that's a really great thing. So for me, yeah, I mean, just like Logan explained at the beginning, I didn't know, I didn't know how to connect, so I just asked him. I mean, it's kind of a bold move to ask a young kid who's got, you know, trucks and dirt bikes and you know I'm sure girls on his mind along with school you know how do you connect with someone like that and all I can say is just be bold. What would you say to someone who's on the fence about connecting? I would say just give it a try. 
jump. Or fall. Or fall. Um, to the point. If you fall, you're shorter to the ground than if you jump. If you jumped, it'd be a longer fall. You're adding that distance to it. Yeah. Um, so cool. I would I would go for the falling method, but what either, like, either way is fine. If you're pushed. Yeah, if you're pushed, that would definitely help. It's less painful that way. I mean, there's things that are on my mind that I want to ask him, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to put him off. I want to be like a weird creeper with it, but still make sure I connect. You can ask me anything, Lance. I appreciate that. <laughs>